Today on Mama Z's Texas Kitchen, I made homemade caramel sauce. In this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's get started on today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back to Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna be making my pecan pie dump cake. Um, I made a video on that before. I wanted to show you how you can make homemade caramel sauce when, if you're like me, you go to the store and couldn't find any. So this is all you need to do. Okay, in a saucepan, I'm going to be turning it up to about medium high to start with. I'm going to add a cup of brown sugar. And one can, one can of sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna mix it up good and then pretty much continuously mix it until it's completely melted down. Okay, it's starting to get a little bit more thick. At this point, I'm going to add my vanilla. I'm going to add my salt. I'll leave the exact recipe down in the description below. I'm adding a little bit of butter. Now, if you wanted a darker uh, caramel sauce, you certainly could add um, darker brown sugar. I just used a lot brown sugar because this is going into a recipe, so it doesn't matter as much to me if it's light or dark, because it'll darken it more in the baking process. Okay, I'm just gonna pour our sauce into my little pitcher. This makes about two cups. I'm gonna let it set and cool for a minute while I get everything else ready to make the pecan dump cake. In my bowl here, I have three cups of pecans. I'm adding a cup of brown sugar and two lightly beaten eggs. I'm just going to mix this up real quick. And I've got a fourth of a stick of melted butter. Then we're going to add Then we're going to add a cup and a half of our caramel sauce. Now, if you were making this with the regular caramel, this is a 12 ounce caramel. Uh, this is about 12 ounces.
if you're just making the caramel sauce, it thickens up pretty quick once it starts cooling down. And just make sure everything is very, very well coated. I'm going to lightly spray this with a little bit of avocado oil. I'm making two nine by nine pans of it. So I have one to give away and one for my husband and I. And so I'm gonna put about half of the mixture in here. that out evenly over the bottom of the pan. Then we're going to take a cake mix. I'm using a yellow cake mix here. But you can use, I've used white too. Um, I just prefer the yellow cake mix better. And we're just going to lightly sprinkle this over on top of your Now you certainly could make this at just one and a nine by 13. That would be perfectly okay. The only reason I'm doing it this way is that way I can share some because my husband and I both don't need a bunch. <laughs> and neither does, you know, my parents, which is who I'm making the other one for. You're gonna spread it out. Make sure it's even. There's not any big piles on it. I've got a stick and a half of butter that I'm just going to drizzle evenly between the two. Just try to, the best you can. We're gonna pop these in the oven and cook them for, oh, about 30, 35 minutes. And then we'll be back here in just a minute. I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Our Bracon Dump Cakes have come out of the oven and they look so good. Thank you so much for joining us today on Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. I hope you will try this caramel sauce because Dang, it was good, guys. We'll see you guys on the next video.